nice early start to the day. Um, taking a walk up my driveway and very fortunately just walking next door because next door I have a great partner in crime, Warren Rogers from Wilde Beer. And we're going to be brewing today our first test batch of honey ale made from our very own honey drawn from our very own hives on our very own little tiny farms. I'm so pumped! <laughs> In beer brewing, consistency is key. Obviously, if you are expecting to drink an ale, you need to drink an ale. And if you're drinking an ale from a specific, a specific brand that has sold you the idea of their specific type of ale, then you want that consistency. However, with the honey, what we're introducing is a slight variation. And we think, a little bit like a good wine, that variation is what becomes an attractive selling proposition. So that uniqueness which we are very excited about uh, measuring on an ongoing basis and selling to you guys because there's there's an anticipation there's a there's a an, an excitement build-up that is associated with wanting to know which was the best season you know what was the best honey production that created that unique taste grams of DME which is a, a dry malt extract. <laughs> it looks yummy. Yeah it looks yummy, it smells yummy, um, it's very thirsty for liquid. Um, yeah so 100 grams of this I mix it with about a litre of water um, and then I boil it for uh, about 10 minutes, cool it down as fast as possible and then once it's about 25 degrees, 22 degrees Celsius I pour in um, dry yeast. And then what that does is it allows the yeast to propagate and make many, many, many more yeasts. <laughs> more yeast. Multiply my yeast. Multiply my yeast, yeah. Port until you add your yeast, <laughs> which we just added. Yeah. And, and then it technically <laughs> becomes beer. Yeah, and then it's beer. Okay. Yeah. Some nice hot honey. Mm -hmm. This is the most crucial ingredient. Well, not as far as beer goes, but as far as nuance or um, something yes. specific. Here we go. Yeah, so now this is like happy days. If only you guys could smell this. Oh, cheers. No, cheers. 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 Thank yeah, you. We've had what a, what a time good. are we now? Uh, it's 12.59. So we are technically allowed to drink. Yeah. yeah. So as you guys know, Warren and I are, are developing um, a honey ale. And the whole idea and the background behind it comes from the whole biomimicry model on tiny farms. So we want to start utilizing the honey from our own farms to produce a beer and then the beer waste becomes chicken food and you see the whole circle sort of applies. So um, thank you for all your input. We've run through and, and uh, technically have a, a recipe and what we did today was develop um, our first batch as a test. And so we'll wait how many weeks? Five weeks. Oh, there. There's a batch right there. Yeah, there it is then. <laughs> so we wait five weeks, it settles. What does it do in those five weeks? Um, okay, so currently we've pitched the yeast, uh, we've cooled down the wort, and uh, now the yeast is busy propagating, and now it's going to take all that sweet liquid and turn it into alcohol. And also refine all the flavors of the hops and all the additional nice. things that we've added in. Uh, we're also testing out a new yeast that should bring out the honey flavor. Awesome. It, it's, it's delicious, it's amazing, and next time I drink this honey port, I want to know it's the same sort of drink. But that slight variation may come because we have a honey input. Yes, and that honey input, good, yes. although we, we're foraging, or we, our bees are foraging locally, and we're foraging their honey locally, there is going to be variation, yeah, and that should be embraced and enjoyed 
as a nuance to the same beer yes. the next time I drink it. Oh, definitely, definitely. So again, and another amazing thing from the whole brewing process and part of our biomimicry sort of protocol is that we try use waste from one process as the input to the next and we now have this grain I have a full bucket full here and that is going to supplement our feed so tomorrow I can use 30% less of our bought in feed and supplement it with this and bring down the costs of feeding our chickens and they get a different roughage and variety of diet and they are healthier and more productive because of it and it was a waste one man's rubbish is another man's gold except the rubbish and gold in this case are both mine <laughs> <laughs>